coming to you live from the On Air Media Studios here in Dallas, Texas. Welcome to Sound Bites with Susan and Waylon, where we take a short extraction of our daily lives as publicists to share with you all uh, here in Dallas and our audiences abroad. My name is Waylon Tate with J. Waylon and Associates. And I'm Susan Friedman of Freedom and Marketing and Public Relations. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Monday. It's, it is a good Monday. It's a happy yeah. Monday. I got to sleep a lot this weekend, which was nice. Yeah. So, yeah. Good for you. So, yeah. last weekend you made a cake. And I did this make a cake. You slept. I slept. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, you needed it. this is the problem with getting older, I guess, is that you want, well, and again, doing what we do for a living, we're out all the time. When I get those opportunities to just really decompress, yep. lock myself in my bedroom, in my bed, and sleep, I take full advantage of it uh my i always say my husband has a superhero power because he can sleep anywhere like that uh -huh. like and i can't even if i want to take a nap and i'm tired it's really tough so it I'm is jealous. it is so you, did you go house shopping though i we did okay so shopping. we're still obviously in the uh you know in the works mm -hmm. of doing it um again i just i love my realtor so marcy mm -hmm. mallard is, she is amazing but um what she's done now is because i am the crazy client right the one that's like okay well maybe i'll do lakewood and then i'm like maybe i'll do richardson and you know we already ruled You're out your neighborhood right i've talked about that the past two episodes uh perry heights which is where susan lives and it's just an extremely expensive neighborhood and there's <laughs> there's only like 32 houses right it's really yeah. small um, nice to be the cheapest my realtor's <laughs> like, good, maybe the second house. Maybe the second time around you can get that one. But So what I did this weekend was I went to two open houses, which was a different experience. Mm -hmm. uh, and these are the first two townhomes that I've looked at. So the rest oh. of the houses have been houses. Oh. Um, but, you know, I told her, I was like, I really want to stay kind of in my comfort zone, which is Oak Lawn. Mm -hmm. And so she sent me to uh, two different open houses. And it was, uh, I'm like, how many zeros are behind that for this mm -hmm. amount of space? So... You know what, Susan? I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, I could get something much bigger and grandiose if I move outside of the bubble, but you know how I am. And I'm like, always, I need to be within like five, you know, like 35 seconds of a Starbucks. Yeah. And you're not going to find that. Our rule of thumb is it has to be an Uber distance away, away from everything. Okay. That okay. was our rule of thumb. Well, maybe that's. That was for us, though. Well, yeah, but you are city, you're city folks, too, mm -hmm. right? And so, well, you would have something to speak about this because you lived in Fort Worth for a brief period of yes. time. And so, would you go back? No, because my business. I like Fort Worth. I think it's a great city and a great place to live. But obviously, I have Dallas clients, or most of my clients are Dallas-based. And a lot of the events are Dallas-based. Sure. And so, I there was one time where I spent two hours driving to a television segment in the morning, I can't imagine And that. you can't be late when you're a publicist and That's you right. have a podcast or <laughs> a television segment. So, That's yeah. Right. Um, I ended up just spending the night in a hotel the night before. I just so that, that could I, get expensive very quickly. Yeah. Very quickly. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Fort Worth, you would be so excited. Um, so my kind of crew of friends, mm -hmm. guess where they went yesterday? Fort Worth. Yes. <laughs> and they <laughs> went so to check smart. out the museum. <laughs> <laughs> they went to check out the museum scene, and I was so sad because I had to go do those open houses. Yeah. So I didn't get to join them. But they apparently, I mean, I saw the pictures, and I should have brought some to post. But mm -hmm. they had a fantastic time good, there, and it was the first experience good. for all of them. Well, we need to get you there. I know. Hopefully that's what will come up next. That's so fun. what happened this weekend with you? Because I know each of us went to yes, a different event. so I did. I went to a fashion event. I usually do go to fashion events. Um, I do like fashion. And this was actually for men, and we were supposed to go together. Yeah. And it's a pop-up shop that's in Victory Park, and it's called Don Morphy. It's going to be there for the next month, and it is located inside, or I guess it's next to the W Hotel Residences. I guess oh, that's the okay. W Residences. Yeah. Um, and a lot of immaculate suits, ties, gorgeous shoes, and all for men, which okay. I love it because I it doesn't do. seem like there's that many selections There's not. For men. There's not. So, Especially boutiques. There's okay. not. I mean, yeah, you can go to Neiman's mm -hmm. or you can go to, you know, Suit Supply or, you know, places like that. But uh, I'm going to have to go check it out for sure. Yes. Um, and they had, it was a um, very casual uh, fashion show. And Rhonda Sargent Chambers, um, who does a lot of fashion production and is kind of the woman in the know for the fashion industry, she, she produced it. And I got to meet, or I actually re-met, the wonderful um, Al Mack from uh, 106.1, yeah, 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 the Kate Craddock show. And I so we him. talked for a little while. Um, we both, maybe past tense, owned land in Mexico, so we are talking about that. <laughs> That's a whole nother 
Sometimes. He had a bar down there, if I'm not yes, mistaken. Um, I got to spend a little bit of time with uh, with all of them when we were still doing, uh, we did some advertising or whatever, so they invited us to this kind of like sponsor party that they do oh, every yeah. year. Um, and it was at Big Al's old space on, uh, he just recently sold it, um, right. on McKinney Avenue. And they're really cool mm -hmm. people, even in person. Kelly Raspberry, all of them, yeah. the whole crew. Um, you yeah, like 106.1. I do. We do. But so I'm gonna have to go check it out. So it was fun. Did you see yes. any other folks that we kind of run with? Um, I did run into a few people for sure. It was a good. It was a great event. So, okay. Yeah. Well, I had the opportunity. The reason I couldn't go with you, obviously, is I texted you midday and I was like, I can't do it. Uh, is because one of uh, a pretty well-known establishment on McKinney, mm -hmm. um, formerly known as Fat Rabbit, mm -hmm. uh, went through a complete renovation of. Um, uh, including branding and name and all of that. So they're now called Plate, P-L, the number eight, um, oh my gosh. Plate. Um, and it's, it, it is, it is. And it's a massive space. I don't Who know if you've it? ever been there. Do you know? That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, but it was a packed party because it was the grand opening. Mm -hmm. So they were doing micro plates to kind of show uh, mm -hmm. what the chef was creating. The interesting thing about it is though, it's now called a, it's Plate, Bistro, and Gallery. So inside um, is all of this, artwork with mm -hmm. the little QR code and oh. you can literally purchase the artwork off the wall. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, it was I was really Do impressed. You know if they were local artists or was Yeah, it? I believe they're all local artists. Nice. Um, I would have to double check on that. But it was a really cool experience. Mm -hmm. Um Vodka sponsored uh, the event, so that's why I was there. But um, it was if if you have been to Fat Rabbit before you'll definitely want to make uh, some time to go and check it out because it is uh, completely redone. Chandeliers and uh, an I incredible menu. I do too. Crystal chandeliers? Yeah, gorgeous. I mean, it's it's not the same space for sure, so I encourage and implore everybody to go and check it out. But Awesome. Do you have anything going on in the future this week? Uh, as far as events are concerned, yes, I think so. Well, we just had two events uh, with Jeffrey Collinger, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. Uh, one was at FIG mm -hmm. um, and last night, and one was at the uh, the Bomb Factory. Which oh. I've never been to. You've never been to no, Shelton did a big event and Jeffrey Collinger um, catered it, and that was on Saturday. And then another event, at the Levine Institute, I think, yeah. uh, was on Sunday, and so that was at Fig. Busy. But yeah, it was. I worked most of the day on Sunday. It kind of sucked. I wanted to go to an event, and I ended up working. You did? Oh, of course. That's okay though. Well, what's coming up this week that maybe we can go so, to? So everybody is really into goat yoga, and now is your chance to go. <sighs> At the farmer's market this Saturday, what time? 11 to 1 o'clock. I'm doing it, Susan. I'm doing it. And I'm Goat yoga you there. at the farmer's market. And you're supposed to bring your own mat, your water bottle, and a towel. And the class is outdoors, but I think it's supposed to be nice out on Saturday. Susan, how can you not want to do that? <sighs> Like we were talking before the show, you guys, and I, just I was need like, to Susan, start let's doing do yoga it. without the goats, maybe, <laughs> and then we'll go into goat yoga. But yeah. don't you think that like seeing those beautiful creatures hopping around on your back would make you more they flexible? They are going to poop on me. I know they are. Oh goodness. That's my luck. Well, maybe I'll, it's good luck if a goat poops maybe. on me during yoga. Maybe. I'll bring the baby wipes and we'll wipe it right <laughs> off and keep yoging. Excellent. Well, tickets are thirty-five dollars, and it goes to a really good cause. It's um, it's called Here's Your Reminder Project, which actually it's a I'm not familiar with that nonprofit, but um, I'm always <laughs> wanting to support different charities. So $35 and make sure that you go um, to Eventbrite to get your ticket. Yes, yes, we'll do that. Excellent. That's this Saturday. And then, um, are you familiar with Modern Luxury's Fresh Faces of Fashion? No. I'm no. Not. So they select um, maybe a hand, two handfuls of ambassadors who okay. do support a lot of community events and nonprofits, and they highlight them. And they're having their big party um, at West Village, and it's being sponsored by Park City's Cosmetic Surgery as well. Oh. And it's this Thursday. Um, so let me see. I, I know the names of the ambassadors, okay. um, although I'm not familiar with them. So it's Bila Cooley, Brittany. How do you pronounce that? Greenian? Yeah. Sorry if I pronounce it incorrectly. Dr. Michael, um, Dr. Michael Lee, Christian McDuffie, Noble Madhu, who I met. He's part of the Dallas Millennial Club. Okay. Um, Paige Martindale, Anise Nussbaumer, and Brittany 
Drasener, okay. Brock Travis, Angie Welker, and Tia Williams. So congratulations to all of them. And we were just talking about the Kate Craddock show, sure. and Jenna Owens is going to be emceeing it I and hosting the her. event, and she's with the Kate Craddock show. I have never met her. I've met the other Kate Craddock members, but never her. And I don't know, there's something so bouncy and airy, but she's a real chick, right? Yeah. And I, I always love, because uh, I listen to them in the morning I do too. Uh, as I'm going to work, and... Um, so maybe I'll go to that too, just so I can try to meet Jenna. Right? <laughs> Excellent. Well, you can go to Eventbrite. Tickets, twenty-five okay. to seventy-five dollars, and um, it does go to a charity. It goes to the Bridge Homeless Recovery Center. Oh, I love that. Yep. That's great. Anything else? Um, I personally love. Well, now that it's spring, unfortunately, it's supposed to rain. I think the next two days here in Dallas, Texas. Okay. But when it does get sunnier, you need to go and support Clyde Warren Park. Yes, I do. So one of the things that I do love, and even though I don't work out that much, I try to get out to Clyde Warren Park because they offer a lot of free um, health and fitness activities. Yes, you do. So. Um, one of the things that they're doing, well, go, just go on Saturday for like 10 million hours and you can do everything. From 8 to 9 o'clock, they have Tai Chi. 9 to 10, they have Body Mountain Boot Camp. And from 10 to 11, they have yoga. And it's all free. God, that's amazing. It's such a cool space anyway, right? Do you remember when they were building Clyde Warren? Yes. It was a nightmare, right? Because they had to shut down like all these lanes. But yes. uh, I've heard that they're wanting to extend Clyde Warren even oh, really? further. Yeah. They should. Um, we need more green space. We do. We need a lot more green mm -hmm. space. And we need to utilize it well and I think they are here. They However, are. However, they do need your support. Um, I feel like I'm totally all about charities today. I'm like, okay, <laughs> here we go. But there is um, a nonprofit. It's called I Heart the Park. And um, just go there. They're collecting money. They only need $125,000 this year to just. produce all of these. Well, it costs $3.5 million God. a year to keep the park running. What? And they're trying to raise just $125,000. Okay. So let's do it. Okay. I Go could online. Twenty-five thousand for a down payment too. I'm yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we have had um, a lot going on in the media as of late, and mm -hmm. um, I'm telling you, this morning when I woke up, it's Facebook is all a storm about um, the students from Parkland, like really standing up and making um, making a statement. And I have to say, like uh, for those of you who don't know, I teach actually a federal government class at Richland College, so I I speak about you know kind of current issues um, a lot with my students, and since I started studying public policy, which was 100 years ago, um, I'm not quite sure I've ever seen such a rise in youth voice that is actually making a really big difference. So um, did you see any of the coverage from this? I did. Amazing it is event? amazing. And I agree. You know, it was interesting when a long, long time ago in a land far away when I was in high school, I remember thinking, you know, there weren't any major political movements sure. in my life at that time. And then all of a sudden now we have tons. Um, but yeah, this is the first time where I've really seen children and students having a voice and speaking out and they are doing it incredibly well. Yeah, they are. Um, and there's actually an article out there uh, about uh, why they're doing it so well and it's interesting. Oh, because there there's, is? Yeah, and they're saying that the reason that they're so articulated is because their public school got them to that space, that these kids received an incredible education where they were at Parkland. Mm -hmm. And I mean, you've had some um, kind of uh, pop out stars. Emma mm -hmm. uh, Gonzalez, right, yes. is making, first of all, this young woman has more Twitter followers than the NRA now. Really? Yes. Good for um, her. And she's so impassioned when she speaks. This is a picture mm -hmm. of her right now. Mm -hmm. She went on a six minute complete silent Silence. protest um, on live television. Mm -hmm. And that's a long that time. That is a long time. Like, of course, for PR people, we're like, I'm panicking <laughs> after 10 seconds. I'm like, say I something. thought of you when I, when <laughs> I heard about that. Dead space makes me so yes. anxious and nervous, right? But um, <laughs> I'm telling you, these, these, these kids are a force to be reckoned mm -hmm. with. And their message is basically mm -hmm. this uh, It is our earth to inherit. Mm -hmm. And while you may be able to have inaction now, mm -hmm. we are one and a half to two years away from voting. Mm -hmm. And they are coming out in droves. I tell you, mm -hmm. this particular march in D.C. had 800,000 people in attendance. Now, you know, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that if you have nearly a million people in one location mm -hmm. at one time talking about the same message, there's going to be some action, right? right? And it may just come from these uh, young men and women who are going to be able to vote in people that really uh, articulate and vote on the things that mean something to them. So it's gonna be an exciting, That's interesting great. time.
And Dallas participated as well as we Fort did. Worth. Not yeah. to such a huge extent, but mm -hmm. yeah. Um, in fact, I saw um, Townview High School mm -hmm. uh, last week mm -hmm. had uh, participated in their own walkout right. um, of class. And, you know, I'm all about empowering these young people, right? Mm -hmm. they, they really are the future of the and country. And this is a great learning experience. It sure is. Them it as sure well. is. And to become politically participative, yeah. you know? Uh, I have to battle this all the time every single semester with students mm -hmm. is because they feel so disconnected. Do you right? give them any extra credit for attending I do. these? I do. I sure you? do. I sure do. I give them uh, options for three different um, kind of extra credit, you know, uh, opportunities. Mm -hmm. And one is to attend a local government meeting, right? Mm -hmm. So either a city council meeting, what have you, to interview a politician. And believe it or not, it is not that difficult, you folks folks to get in touch with at least local um, politicians. And then uh, I try to do something um, every semester where we can go as a group to participate in some type of activity. So oh, very good. yeah, it'll be exciting to see what happens. Yeah. So we have Excellent. a really exciting guest coming up that yes. we're excited about. Um, so let's stay tuned after this short break from our sponsor, Crudo Vodka. We'll be right back. back. Hi, thank you so much for watching Sound Bites with Susan and Waylon. And today our special guest is Yummy Okenfolore. Yes. I got it. And yes, she, has, she has yummy hair extensions and an incredible story to share, um, as well as an amazing social media campaign. And we're really excited to talk you yes, welcome, and thank, thank you for you. being here this early in the morning. We know it's <laughs> it's challenging, right? And especially yeah. as an entrepreneur, because I'm sure you're working around the clock, right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, but I'm excited to be here. Thanks for well, having me. Well, we are excited for you to be here. Um, I think uh, in about five minutes, we're going to completely track Susan's head, right? No. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm, I'm down for that. Let's do it. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about you and tell our audience about you and your company and kind of where it started from. Absolutely. So Yummy Extension started at least eight years ago. So I, prior to Yummy Extensions, I worked in corporate America. So I was in IT. My goal was to be a CIO and all that good jazz. And after I basically had my second child, I figured that that life was not going to work for me right. because I essentially needed flexibility. Mm -hmm. And I love hair extensions. Hair extensions is like my passion. Like everyone in the family came to me for the plug for oh, hair. Right. So my mom said, you know what, why don't you go ahead and give this a try? I'm like, me, hair, how? <laughs> and my aunt and all my family members would request hair and I would like ship it to them and all that good stuff. And I believe it or not, I started on Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then there wasn't like Instagram at the time. Like right. Instagram wasn't like big as it is now. And got my first Facebook order. The girl was like all the way in Africa. She's like, hey, I want some hair. I live in LA, but I want you to ship some hair to me. I'm like, really? And then she got it and she absolutely loved it. I was like, okay. People are actually liking this stuff. Right. And I built my own website many, many years ago. Not the website we have now, but okay. did it myself. Did it every, you know, I worked and did my business. At the same time. At the same time. Mm -hmm. And about four years ago, I eventually, like, let go of my full-time job and focused on Yummy Extensions full-time. Yeah, that's a big it's, step. It's a leap of faith, right? It really is. Mm -hmm. It really is. But it, it was worth it because I enjoy it. Like, I enjoy talking to customers. I enjoy talking about beauty. I enjoy being able to, like, define my my path okay. in my in my business so, so. Who is your because it sounds like you provide hair for people around the world then absolutely so we wow. provide yeah so our audience is worldwide um, obviously the united states is our you know big big market um, the east coast for sure um, but everybody like we provide hair to anyone who's wanting just hair for beauty wanting hair for me, uh, uh, cancer patients, they wanted to add some volume to their hair. Um, we have a plethora of um, clients, but mm -hmm. to me, I think for hair extensions, it just gives you that extra confidence. And most of the girls that wear weaves or extensions, mm -hmm. it's not like they don't have hair. Mm -hmm. They just want that extra. Like for me, I have hair underneath, but I just need that extra volume and right. that extra, you know, different personality each and every day. So one day, so one day I want to be curly, one day I want to go straight. 
and one day I want to be wavy. So it's just how you feel. I love that. It's, it's like the flexibility, yeah, I, right? It, yes, I absolutely. So do most people take um, the extensions and they have them professionally put in? Yes. Because I'm assuming that not many women are, are capable of doing their own obviously extensions, right? Absolutely. Which is one of the reasons why we opened our new store in Dallas. Okay. In our new store in Dallas, you can actually come in and purchase the hair okay. and have it installed by a professional hairstylist. Nice. And so that's exciting. And she actually just opened it. Yes. Not this, not yesterday, but two Sundays ago, okay. correct? Yes, ma'am. And mm -hmm. you had some celebrities there. Yes, we did. We had Angela Simmons, oh. Vanessa Simmons. We had Lara Galore as well. Um, so those are our brand ambassadors. They came to celebrate with us. It was exciting. That's Dallas came huge. out. It was, it was nice. Okay, I have got to ask you, because we do talk a lot about influencers here mm -hmm. on the show. Mm -hmm. um, how did you select your ambassadors? How did you um, determine which ones you would use and what was kind of your train of thought on that? Good question. So for us, our, our audience or people who actually purchase from us are more... I would say mature and knowledgeable women, mm -hmm. you know. So I wanted women that were business owners, entrepreneurs, but also loved beauty, all okay. things beauty. Like for example, Angela Simmons never has a bad hair day. She no. loves hair, she's obsessed with hair. So it was important for us to choose individuals that love hair, not just because they're celebrities, but they enjoy hair, they want their hair to look good. Sure. Um, and also they have their own like businesses and they understand like business and entrepreneurship and they have just the influence of, you know, ladies that are within our demographics of business, you know, that actually did shop our hair. Did you know her before or did you reach out to um, her, her publicist? I'm curious. This yeah. is all behind the no, scenes. No, 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 no. So I like love it. I love story. it. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Vanessa, which is her older sister, was a brand ambassador with us prior uh -huh. to Angela. Okay. okay. So Vanessa and I, we worked together for about six six, seven months. Uh -huh. And then Angela's folks reached out and were like, Vanessa loves your hair. Okay. You know, would you be interested in being um, having her be a brand ambassador? I was like, heck yeah, yeah. who doesn't want that? <laughs> Do you not love the organic nature of that? Yes. Because I mean, yes. we're on the hustle, right? So mm -hmm. as publicists, we're constantly, uh, it's kind of with the push and pull, right? We're yes. always like trying to get, um, you know, people in for our mm -hmm. clients. So mm -hmm. uh, uh, what a beautiful and remarkable thing that they came yes. to you. What, what that does is it says something about your own business model mm -hmm. and that your product is obviously quality, right? Yeah, it absolutely <laughs> <is>. <laughs> Of course it is. It is, yes, which is why it's important to like make sure your products, I mean, you could have a you know wonderful branding and wonderful look and feel and everything, but if your product is not consistent and people actually see it and they actually That's right. love it, you know, it just uh, it makes a really big difference. So do you specialize in hair, in ethnic hair, or is it all All. Hair? So oh, we carry okay. blondes. Okay. Um, so with our hair, of course, it, it's, it's very versatile. So we, we have like textures that are more of a silky texture, um, so slightly coarse, coarse, kinky. So we really try to cover every woman, okay. essentially. Um, we have Caucasian clients who come in, Hispanic clients who come in. Um, African American clients who come in, so they just mm -hmm. you, so when you come into our store, we essentially you know see your natural hair, see what texture we feel like of hair will best blend with your natural hair. Gotcha. And basically, gotcha. Uh, also your lifestyle. So we have girls who work out every day. So for example, if you're a girl that works mm -hmm. out every day, you want something curly because you want something a little bit more, you know, put up in a ponytail. And I can the bounce. The bounce, and I can, you know, wet it and go versus. I want like, I'm, I'm a girl, I don't work out and do much of that. I just want to up and go. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do a wavy or a straight, brush and go. So it all depends on your lifestyle and how you like to okay. wear That's your hair. Yeah. Yes, so it's a lot that goes into a consultation. Of course, online as well, we have a customer service line so they can mm -hmm. call mm -hmm. and you believe it or not, we have girl, we're on the phone with girls for like 30, 45 minutes at a time. Cause hair is a big deal, it's a really big deal. Like they get very <laughs> emotional when it comes to their hair. They don't, yeah, hair is right. like a big deal. Excellent. So. Well, and the other thing that I really found intriguing, going back to the ambassadors too, you mm -hmm. did an amazing social media campaign, which I oh, yeah. really took notice to and Thank took to you. heart. Thank you and so um, her ambassadors modeled after celebrity uh, musicians icons. Oh. and icons. Yeah. Yes. And so some of the models or some of the musicians that you. So we did uh, Jenna Be Jackson, Beyonce, okay. Beyonce yeah. Sade. Yeah. And um, what was the other one we did? 
Diana, Diana Ross. You did Diana Ross. Okay. We had to do the big. Oh, well, yeah. come on! I mean, like, I mean, yes. you, you, she's like known for so huge. Fun. Yeah, it was. To be honest, mm -hmm. you know, trying to do that is mm -hmm. kind of tough because you're like, I hope, I hope we get it right. It didn't, it didn't <laughs> Vanessa. It was Angela. Angela. Angela, did Angela it. Okay. killed it. Like she did mm -hmm. all four looks in one day. Oh my! In one she, day? she is a trooper. Oh my gosh! I mean. I didn't think that she, she was had fun doing it that. It was though. fun though, because it was, you know, we worked together to kind of choose. So we had like a whole long list right. of album covers. Okay. And we're like, let's work together and feel like which which uh, which artists work best. You know, f do you feel the most? Mm -hmm. Right. And she loves Beyonce. She's obsessed with Beyonce. Okay. So we, we knew we had to put Beyonce in. Right. There. So that well, was fun. That's a big. Uh, it, it's kind of a g again a big um, a hope moment, right? Like because mm -hmm. you're paying homage to some huge, yes. you know, celebrities. Yes. And so it's like, I can see, I would be paranoid um, mm -hmm. about doing that because you're like, this can go really good <laughs> oh, or this really can go bad. real south, right? And you're getting, uh, you're getting a call, right? Yeah. From, <laughs> from somebody's publicist so, saying yeah. that needs to come down to now. now. Yeah. No. Uh, so that's great that they, that she was, you know, such a workhorse to be able to do all of that in one day. Yes. And in essence, create um, a lot of content, right? Oh, yeah, For a good period went, of time. Yeah, it, it, everybody loved it. They, I mean, it was it was amazing. It was an amazing campaign. I enjoyed working on that one. Very good. Where um so is so right now you only have one location, correct? Yes. In Dallas that you just launched. Yes. So um do you have stylists that are working inside like the, the entire time that the store is open? Yes, yes we do. And they so, will actually do the process on site. On site. So okay. you can come in, per purchase your hair and get it installed okay. essentially. So we're always looking for stylists, mm -hmm. you know. Always looking for stylists. Even we have like traveling stylists, people from out of stylists from out of town, who want to you know get a, a space for like a day or two, take clients, things like that. So do you know Willie Johnson by chance? Yes, I do okay. actually. He's a good friend of ours, and like yeah. every time I hear the word stylist, I always think of him because he is like he is the um, silent but deadly, right? Mm -hmm. That boy knows his stuff and he knows his people, mm -hmm. um, but he never talks about himself. It's so weird. I'm always like Willie, like you gotta Something you know like, talk more about like yourself. That, I used to be like I've always been like a behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, that's so. why you hire a publicist. Yeah, yeah, right. She's like, you need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Do it, <laughs> do it, just do it. Do it. It's so. good because it, it enables, because you have to, you're speaking from a couple of different levels, right? You're speaking um, directly to an audience about a particular product that they want, mm -hmm. but you're also talking about um, being able to juggle multiple roles. You mentioned you're a, a mother, yes. right? So you're a woman entrepreneur, a mother who owns her own business. And I love that you, you speak in a way where you're speaking to other people that kind of resonate the same things that, that you have, right? A yeah, woman absolutely. who is juggling a career, mm -hmm. but has a fine appreciation for beauty and aesthetics. And I think that's... Thank uh, you. No, I... I Thank if you, you yeah. ever watch our show, you'll yeah. see we're big, like, uh, yeah. go girl women, power. girl yeah, power. And, and, you know, just to add to that, like, even for mm -hmm. on our social... Like, even on my Snapchat, I always try and throw, you know, little you know, nuggets of knowledge out there because there are a lot of ladies that want to just step out sure. in faith and they're, like, scared. You know, I was like, just make sure you just put your all into it and when you feel like you're at a point where you can step away and just do it, just do it. Like, but sure. you have to be passionate about it, and you have to see potential in it. You can't just say, "Oh, I'm going to quit my job just because." That's right. You right. know, because that, because the times where you, you know, the down times, you know, when you feel, because you're an entrepreneur, you're going to have the ups and the downs. When the downs are like, "Why did I do this?" You know, <laughs> but you have to just be confident. And be like, hey, you know, I didn't, I didn't know, I honestly did not know Yummy Extensions would be where it's at today. Right. Like, not in a million years. So where, no, 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 um, without giving away any trade secrets, sure. um, what would make your hair uh, different than maybe some of the other um, extensions? Are, are they yeah. locally made and produced or kind of different? Uh, yes, you get it's it from the different source. Places? It's okay. the source. And, the, and the, um, the source and also our involvement as well. Okay. So, I mean, hair extensions, you can get hair extensions anywhere okay. at this point. But it's really the quality of the hair. Okay. So we essentially, I travel to collect the hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Yes. So I go to Cambodia, I go to India, I go to Laos. So we basically, yeah. And you come back with suitcases? No, I hair. don't. They have they ship it <laughs> too. But I have to go so that I'm way I can. No. That would make for some really <laughs> interesting. Customs I like is your like, hair. no. <laughs> <laughs> We're not allowed to do that. We have to have that ship. Okay. But I actually go and have you know because it's important to have relationships with these um, sure. factories. Mm -hmm. So I go figure out the type of textures that I want to okay. select, mm -hmm. and then have those. Select them like this is what I want. It, should, it needs to stay in this parameter. Right. Mm -hmm. And if I see any changes, I'm 
going getting a ticket next door. Going, door. Back, going yeah. back, yeah. So I really, um, so it's really just your involvement and just make, making sure that it's pure because and, the, and be quality. So because there really isn't enough hair okay. that can mm -hmm. supply the whole world as of right now. Mm -hmm. So the demand is higher than the supply. So because of that, a lot of businesses now they just mix it with synthetic fibers right. and things gotcha. like that. So you get the hair, and after a week or two of washing, it's, and all, it's, it's all exactly. So we so a lot of quality control. Okay. You know, just a lot of being very knowledgeable. So when you see something that's not right, you're like, no, that's not. That's not us. That's not. That's us. not yummy. Yeah, that's right. not yummy. So yeah, I think that's that would really be a good hashtag. That's, that's not, not yummy. yummy. Yeah, I love that. I'm gonna have to try that. You can that. send me a check after the show. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we loved having you on the show, and My we want to let the audience know. So if they're wanting to either, um, let's give them your web address first. Absolutely. Yummyextensions.com. So okay. www.yummyextensions.com with an S. That's easy enough yes. to remember. And yummy yes. is your business is yes. Y U M M Y. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Why you MMY? Thanks. And then where is your actual location? Because we do have a lot of uh, audience members sure. in Dallas. It's The address is 19009 Preston Road. Okay. It's off of Preston and George Bush is okay. what I like to say. Um, so we have a beautiful location. I would love we'll to have We'll have to go. We'll guys. go get some pictures. Yes, And we'll please. get Susan with like 14-inch blonde extensions. Well, how about man. 30 inches? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do, you, we, do you have you mine? Um, have you? We have... Yes, we do actually. I actually have several pictures of some. Someone just sent me. Yeah, we do have some men. Hey, I'm gonna have to check that here. out then. And right? you see it, and you're like, hmm, they look really pretty. <laughs> you like your I love that. I know. I love. We can I get you in a wig, that. though. Yeah, we could. Just a full. Yeah, like, just. Just like this. I want. I want know, the Diana Ross color. hair. Oh, okay. that, oh yeah, I can do that. Totally. <laughs> I'm just making. So, do you, has anybody requested a perm? A perm, perm like, like of a the wave, actual hair? Like a, um, because the hair are we have hair that actually comes. Naturally, so essentially the hair is uh -huh. cut from a donor. Uh -huh. So the so we have like this. What I'm having on right now is naturally wavy, and we have like a deep wave pattern. Perfect. And okay. curly. So you really don't None need of it to is pre -processed. no gotcha. everything is covered. So you really don't need to like do any extra. Do yeah, it's just oh up gosh. and go. It's very versatile. Oh, that sounds like a dream. It does sound like a dream, and you we will totally certainly do it. shoot. Yeah, we'll we'll right. see what happens, but <laughs> we will certainly post um, on our website, obviously at mm -hmm. uh, com. Mm -hmm. We'll post Yummy's uh, location and also um, a link to her website, so you can go yes. check it out for yourself. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much you. for being here. My we really pleasure. Appreciate Thanks it. for having me. Awesome. And until next time, we will check you all out next Monday, mm -hmm. and we wish you a fantastic week. Yeah.